Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Forgotten Worlds on the Sega Genesis. This originally started as an arcade game and was ported to the Sega in 1989. Let's get into it. Uh, started off, you got some options. You can turn auto fire on or off. Either way, you can hold down the B button and just continuously shoot, so you might as well put rapid fire on. It's not a big deal. Satellite speed is how fast the weapon circles around you, and you can change the game to give difficulty. All right, basic story of this game is the Earth has been taken over by aliens and the humans have been enslaved. So in secret, the humans raise two male children to be warriors and train them how to use deadly weapons. And now they're trying to take back the Earth. This is a two-player game, which is really awesome. Uh, it's a lot easier on two players, and it's also a lot of fun. You can see these blue circles I'm collecting are called Zenny. That's the money you'll use to get power-ups, get your life back, extra lives, etc. This is just an all-around great game. I actually have a lot of nostalgia for this. Because when I was 12 or 13, I started uh, renting it from my local video store and I spent hours playing this game okay shops will pop up in every level in the shops you have different weapon power-ups um, health you can refill your health meter right here this flying stone lets you change how fast you move I definitely recommend getting that it's only a hundred uh, we'll buy an extra life now. And you also get some traded money from your old satellite that you have. So you get half the money back from the old one you had. And we just picked up the missiles, which are nice because they're like auto homing ones. So you push the B button to fire normally, and A circles your weapon one way, and C circles it the other way. Um, if you push B and C together, they will just circle you and your weapon, like, in place. And I don't really like doing that because I like having a weapon in front of me, because it can block projectiles for you. So I try to avoid doing that altogether. All right, here's the first boss. It's very easy. You just got to shoot him in the mouth. Yeah, you can see right there how I'm blocking the shots with my satellite. There we go. And if you kill him quick enough, you get bonus Zenny, which is always good. You cannot stop me with just a paramecium. Uh, there's also hidden items throughout the level. You can see there I'm finding some Zenny in the water. Uh, you can also find armor, and you can find life. Alright, on this level I like to get this. It increases your max health bar. Uh, we'll ref ah, we don't need to refill our life right now. But I also like getting this Napalm Bomb, because it takes care of the enemy pretty quickly. And might as well buy another life while we're here. So if you run out of lives, you, it is a game over. There's no continues. This weapon's kind of hard to use. It's just like one single small shot. But it does do a lot of damage, especially to this next boss. Oh, 
You got this giant worm monster popping up out of the water. Uh, as far as I know, you cannot kill him. So you just want to keep moving. Here's the next boss. Now, the secret to this boss is you need to shoot his heart, which is underneath this little uh, plate right here. And you can do it super easy with this weapon. There we go. Not even a dust dragon can defeat us. He too had a weak point. All right. So what's really cool about this game is the different weapons you can get. So I feel like it definitely gives it a lot of uh, replay value. You could go through and try it with different weapons and also a different difficulty if you want. So you just gotta kinda find like what weapons work for you. And my main goal right now is to make sure I have enough Zenny for the last level, because I wanna get the auto tracking laser. So the last level is pretty hard without it. Okay. So we'll increase our vitality again. Um, this right here, I forgot to mention, we'll give you information about the boss. The God of War hates to be attacked on his shoulders. So that's pretty cool they do that, and it's only 100. Um, you can increase your weapon firepower with these boosters. And the cool thing is, is it goes for all the weapons you get, so you don't have to buy it again if you get a new weapon. You got a laser. The flamethrower is pretty good, but we'll just keep what we have for now. And I will buy this armor. And you know what? I'll buy a booster. Might as well. We already lost our armor. There's some hidden stuff here. Some hidden zenny, I believe. Oh yeah, see that pal? That gives you back some health. and all that beautiful zenny. All right, here's the next boss. Once again, I like to make sure my satellite is in front of me. Now, if you remember what they said about the shoulders, you can shoot his shoulders and actually, like, knock his whole arm off. But I don't really think it's necessary. I just kind of stay down here and try to avoid his projectiles. So uh, my main goal is just to kill him as fast as possible to make sure I get that bonus zenny.
There we go. Took care of him super fast. Did the fiend really die? No doubt about it, the king of the false gods is in a new realm by now. Alright. I, I say this level is kind of where it starts to get a little more difficult. The next two are a lot harder. But, uh... See, so this, this level gives you some choices. You can go up or down here by whichever one you shoot. Typically, you want to go up because the enemies aren't as hard and there's not as many, I guess. These little heads that shoot lasers at you. Okay, at this shop, I like to buy this Balkan cannon if I have enough. It's 50,000. And they also have this weapon where the shots bounce off the wall, but I actually don't like that one. It doesn't seem very powerful. So we'll buy this. Uh, we'll buy some more vitality. And we'll buy a shield. And we might as well fill up our health, I guess. And just for fun, let's see what the information says. Oh, no, that's the speed stone. Sorry. All right. You could just keep the napalm if you want. All right. I want to make sure I shoot the top one. boss isn't too hard. Just want to keep shooting his head and watch out for the projectiles. And then his body turns into a huge snake and it's kind of the same thing. You just want to keep shooting him in the head. Two guys. Darn, no date with Cleopatra? The thing about this level is there's not much Zenny in it. This is the first time we've seen Zenny so far. So that's why it's pretty important to kill the bosses quickly to get the bonus Zenny. There's a couple things you can get. You can get the wide shot. 
You can buy a booster, which makes your weapon more powerful, or you can buy the bounce shot. Uh, I don't really feel like I need any of that, so I'll just get the vitality. And eh, I think that's all I'll get. Here's some information. Let's see what this says. Sun God Ra will be defenseless when... <laughs> it doesn't even give you time to read it. When ranging his attack pattern. Wow, that's very hard to read. that background's pretty cool looking. Looks like a bunch of faces to me. Here's the sun god. It's not too bad. As long as you, like, stay back. Because if you get too close, they'll drop some bars in front of his face. So all you gotta do is really just shoot him in the face. Come on, I'm trying not to die. I might die right here. Not a big deal. Yeah. That's right, because I had the potion. Just keep shooting him. There we go. bonus any which is most important was that Yamaskit's flying craft in the air with the flying I'm not sure but I think we've seen the last of him all right so yeah I would say this level and the last level are probably the most difficult some hidden money right there Yeah, if you could shoot that dragon in the head, you can get a lot of zenny from him. It only works in the head. Let me in. Oh, almost missed the shot. Okay, um... I'm not going to buy either of these weapons. You can get a laser here. But as I said, I'm, I'm saving up for the homing laser. But we will get the armor, vitality, and fill up the health. So you see this big guy? I don't think you actually have to hit him. You just gotta dodge the projectiles long enough and he'll go back down. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know if you can actually kill him. Coming up on the boss. All you gotta do is break the crystals around his head and then shoot him in the head. Okay, we need to get 99,000 to get the homing missile, so we're almost there. The homing laser. I'll kill him. Nothing can stop me. He can't withstand my aura weapon. So this is where it's really important to have the satellite in front of you, because all you can block a lot of these projectiles that are coming at you. You see these little uh, places? You can get Zenny in here if you're quick enough. Alright. There's the shop. Comes out the side. Okay. So we got enough here. 99,900 for the homing laser, auto tracking laser. Definitely getting that. Uh, there's another booster, which we'll try to get next time if we got enough. But right now we'll fill up our health, and we will get the armor. We can withstand five shots. All right, let's go. You'll see right quick how good this weapon is. <laughs> so good. I believe it to be the best weapon in the game. armor that just appeared down there okay there's a pow and then there's more armor right there There actually is uh, two stores in this level. So if you don't have enough for the homing missile the first time, I think you can get it the next time, the, the laser. If you make it that far without it. <laughs> Come on. There's a second shot. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna get my health first. Get the armor. Now here you could buy another life if you need it, but we still have one more, so we'll be fine. And I got just enough to get the most powerful booster. Alright. Okay, this is the last boss. And if you have these weapons, it's really not too hard at all. You can basically just stay right here. There we go. No problem. I made it. I'm still shivering. Yeah, I feel the same. I only hope peace can return to the world. Thank you very much. Peace has returned to us. Now we must rebuild our homes no matter how long it takes. We can only pray that the evil and the false king of gods will never come back to us. And so the story of two heroes passed into legend. The two heroes were never seen again. What they had done passed into the mists of time. There we go. Very, very awesome game. Very fun. So especially with two players, because it's, uh, it's a lot more casual on two players, because if one person dies and the other one's still alive, all you got to do is push start and you'll come back. Awesome music, awesome controls, great graphics. I don't have a single bad thing to say about this game. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend it. Special thanks to Capcom. Finn. Well, Alright everybody, I want to thank you for watching. There'll be more videos to come soon. Have a good one. Bye.